Hello. In my men's group this morning, I was telling them about this incident that happened to me in downtown San Jose. I was going to see this comedy show. Now, to be completely honest, it wasn't a Christian comedy show. There was a long line, maybe around the whole the length of the block to get into the show. And then all of a sudden, a street preacher set up across the street and started preaching to the line. He was telling them how they were going to go to hell. You guys are going to go to hell unless you follow Jesus. And he was yelling at them and screaming at them. And I was just thinking, oh, no, not one of these. And he's yelling at the line. And then all of a sudden, the line starts getting irritated and people start yelling back at him and people are cursing at him. Now he's yelling at them and they're yelling at him and he's supposed to be there spreading the gospel. So he's yelling at the line. They're cursing at him. Now a lot of people are getting into it and they're yelling back at the street preacher. Then all of a sudden, from the back of the line, maybe half a block away, this young guy comes, young black guy with baggy pants, uh, baggy shirts, dreadlocks, look like he's been in quite a few fights. And he starts walking slowly up to the street preacher. And so everybody's yelling at the street preacher and this guy's just walking up to the street preacher. And then as he gets closer, people start noticing and the yelling starts to die down and it starts to die down more. And everybody is just watching, waiting to see what's going to happen. And I'm thinking, oh, I hope God is with this street preacher. So the guy finally gets up to him and now they're face to face. I see them exchanging a few words and they're talking. Then after a couple of minutes, the street preacher puts his hand on the guy's head. And now both of them have their heads down. And now it's completely quiet and everybody's just watching. What's going on? What, what is happening here? So the guy has his hand on the guy's head and they have their heads down and everybody's trying to figure out what's going on. Then all of a sudden, the young guy turns around and he jumps up in the air with his hands held high. It's like, oh, he's been saved. And all of a sudden, I start clapping the whole crowd, the whole line who previously was yelling and cursing at the street preacher. Everybody breaks into applause. Everybody's happy for this man. It was an amazing thing. It was amazing that the guy got saved. It was more amazing that, you know, why is everybody clapping for it? Just an amazing thing. When I told that story in my men's group, one of the guys said, it just goes to show you, even if you're doing it the wrong way, God can still use you. Then another guy said, no, no, I disagree with you. That guy was doing it the exactly right way to reach that one guy. That was the only guy he needed to reach that night.